Hey y'all, my name is Morgan Radford. I'm from Emerald Isle, North Carolina, which is a pretty small beach town about an hour and a half north of Wilmington. I highly suggest going there if you ever need a little vacation spot or need to get out of town, especially this time of the year is a pretty low-key time to go when there's not too many tourists or too much craziness going on. Um, I am a senior at UNCW this year, so I'm graduating in May of 2017. I'm an exercise science major. Um, I plan to go to PA school. I am in the process of obtaining the minimum 1,000 hours of direct patient contact that most schools require to apply. For the longest time, I actually wanted to go to PT school and had everything planned out for going straight to PT school and, you know, pretty much thought I had my whole life plan figured out. But around this time last year, I started shadowing quite a bit, quite a few different physical therapists for months at a time and just realized that it wasn't what I thought it was and it wasn't something that I feel like I could make people happy in or would make myself happy in. So I just realized that it wasn't the career for me and changed my whole plan for the rest of college. But um, I actually went to Cape Town, South Africa this past summer and did a medical internship there for eight weeks. So I got to shadow doctors and do a few non-invasive patient assessments of my own and help with data collection and just see a whole different perspective of healthcare in a country outside of the United States. And I must say we are very blessed to live here and have the healthcare system that we do because it can be a lot worse than it is, so be optimistic. Um, anyways, that helped me realize that the medical field is more the direction that I want to go in that I feel like I can be successful in and be happy in. And so I'll probably end up working in pediatrics because I love kids. I've always had a connection with kids and I hope that works out for me. But, um, so that brings me back to this. I do think this class will help me a lot in my future profession because I'm sure that I will probably interact with a few special needs kids. Um, like I said in class the other day, I grew up with a kid named Alex who's my age and he was hit by a car when he was seven. So he's had to pretty much restart his whole life and I got to grow up seeing him go from learning his ABCs again at the age seven and being in a wheelchair to having the most sharp memory now and being able to run as fast, probably faster than I can honestly. So that's something I've always really been passionate about. So once I realized what this class was about and what it entailed for the semester, I got really excited. So I hope that you guys are as excited as I am. Um, three words to describe myself. I wrote them down because I already forgot. Um, the first one I put is ambitious. Um, I'm a very stubborn person, but in a good way mostly. Um, when I get something in my head or set a goal, I usually don't stray from that. I'll do whatever I can to make that goal. I'm, very driven, I would say. Um, loyal is another one I put. I feel like I'm very loyal in all of my relationships with my family and my friends and even with myself as far as like morals and staying true to who I really am. Um, and then I put compassionate. I feel like I'm pretty compassionate and understanding person, especially with the variety of friends I have here and back home. And now I've been some in South Africa. I'm just, I've been trying to be a very understanding person and be empathetic with people kind of like we talked about in class the other day so I'd say those words describe myself pretty well I feel like it's really hard when you have to think about the way you describe yourself because you never know if that's the way other people see you but yeah so I look forward to meeting all of you guys and getting to know you guys better bye <laughs>